Hey Aries, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your monthly reading for November. So, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, we're ready to receive the messages for Aries. For anyone with Aries placements for the month of November 2019, what are the messages? Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that will be guided to watch this reading on YouTube. What are the most important messages you have for anyone with Aries placements? November. There you are, Aries. You're in the reverse if you're a man. What else, Spirit? What else can we tell Aries? What do they need to know the most? you're not happy that's why all right anything else for Aries that's important here challenge okay another challenge two challenges oh okay I see you're having a challenge beginning and ending a cycle here so you got to complete one to get one started all right what else do we have for Aries please Aries anything else they're not quite a challenge. They almost wanted to be a challenge, too. All right, what else we got for Aries, please? What's important here for them to know? For November 2019? Oh, they're all here. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Let's take a little peek here. Yeah, you're doing some healing. Oh, yeah, you're going to end the cycle. Great. All right, so you're having a hard time ending a cycle, but you're going to. By the end of the reading, you get the death card, one of my very personal favorite cards in any deck. Um, you know, because it's something that needs to end or transform in some way. Um, for you, it's definitely ending out a cycle because you have a new beginning waiting patiently right here for you. Really nice. Okay, so... You might have dealt with somebody who was a little harsh here with the Five of Swords, but you're coming out of it, so you could have even been fighting with someone. Five of Swords reversed. Um, let me just peek back here. I want to just take a little peek. There's not much to speak of, really. Yeah, there's not too much to talk about. I mean, you're coming out of a time where you might have been having a, a fight, argument, something going on with someone. This person might have been a little brutal, but you're coming out of it. You're not happy, though. So whatever transpired here has left you not really happy, and you may just spout out about it with the um, Knight of Swords in reverse here, and you're in reverse as an Aries man. So for Aries women, you can be dealing with a King of Wands who's not happy right now. Be prepared for harsh words. Um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius, but can be any man really who's coming through in the reverse King of Wands energy and is mad. He's not happy. Knight of Swords reversed right next to him. I feel like there could be a real spout out here. Um, anyway, you have two challenges in your reading. One is the Ten of Pentacles and one is the world. See? A completion and a new beginning is your challenge. So you're having a hard time completing a cycle here. With the Death card here, you're going to do it with the Ace of swords here you're going to start you're going to end and you're going to start a new cycle here right smack dab in the middle of your reading which i always find really important this spot you're you're doing some kind of healing here the universe has handed you a cup and you've decided to keep it for yourself and heal um, it's in reverse so i feel like you've got a little bit more healing work to do here and that's probably what's holding this up um, especially if you're angry you know we don't really heal when we're angry um, and if someone around you is angry and you're trying to heal, it doesn't make it any easier. All right, you have the Seven of Cups here. Um, there's, when this Seven of Cups in particular shows you what you're up against with the confusion and the illusion and the choices, right? So you get an idea of what you're up against here and, you know, you have to make some kind of a choice. You know, this monster is it this person that mistreated you you know for each of you it's going to be different but for some of you you're realizing the person you're up against is just 
you know, not on the same level as you. If you're a woman, you're dealing with a man who's really harsh, all right? If you are a man who's been hurt, you're really pissed. All right, so let's see here. We're not working on something with the Three of Pentacles reversed. We're not going to build on a foundation. We're not going to put in the work. With the Nine of Pentacles reverse, it, there's no abundance there, and we're going to bring something to an end. This could be a transformation, but for you guys, I feel like it's an end because you needed to close something out here to re to have a new cycle come in. Wheel of Fortune, I mean, we welcome that brand new cycle coming in. It's going to happen. So I feel like the healing process is part of what's the holdup here. You're kind of still, it's in reverse. I kind of feel like you're still in the middle of it. Um, you're getting there, though. I mean, the reading, it's not a horrible reading. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just showing that you've been through some stuff. You're, you're angry if you're a man. If you're dealing with a woman, you're probably dealing with a man who's kind of harsh. All right, this was the Universal Celtic Tarot that we used. Now we're going to use the Tarot of the Haunted House. All right, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good? What comes next in this situation? Aries reading for November 2019. Please show us what comes... Why am I saying what comes next? Oh my gosh, I'm thinking we're doing after tarot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That comes next, we'll be doing that. Okay, so after this, we will be using the after tarot to find out what comes next. But for now, please help us clarify how we got to where we are with the cards we already have laid down here for the Aries reading for November 2019. Please clarify the cards we already have laid down and help me to deliver accurate messages for the people that will resonate with this reading and need the messages the most for November 2019 Aries reading for anyone with Aries placements. Why is the King of Wands reversed here, please? Why is he in reverse? Too many. Let me just look at them. We're going to take them. I know that I normally don't like to take this many, but we have, we have such conflicting energy here. We have wish wishes, hopes, and dreams, but we have them not being fulfilled with the uh, Nine of Cups in reverse. I feel like um, you actually don't feel fulfilled in your current circumstance, but that's not going to stop you from wishing on that star, hoping for the best, possibly putting out an apology or um, an offer of some type, maybe initiating something new with the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like you're upset. You're really upset if you're an Aries man. And if you're an Aries woman, you're really dealing with someone who's been really harsh. But And you're not feeling fulfilled. You're not feeling happy in that situation. But I feel like you're really focusing on um, the the hopes, wishes, and dreams you have and realizing that you might have to go after something new here to fulfill this. So the old stuff sucked, but the new stuff could be great. And we don't know what area this is in yet. So we'll, um, as we go along, we might be able to discover for each of you where this situation lies for each of you. What about the Knight of Swords reversed? This is, you know, possibility of some harsh words. It can be a standstill, stuck energy. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse here? Knight of Swords in reverse. This was sticking out and I grabbed it out. Okay, so the Knight of Swords is about the Knight of Swords, both in reverse. All right, let's get one more on the Knight of Swords reverse, please. Wow, okay, so we have the Queen of Wands now, the counterpart to the King of Wands. This is just showing that you're a divine couple. You don't both have to be Aries, but you could be. All right, so we do have here the Queen of Wands. So it, whether you're a male Aries or a female Aries, both of you are pissed. <laughs> you're both mad. Okay, not saying that you're together mad, but you're both mad at your counterpart, whoever they may be. 
you're refusing to move forward with them. So um, we do have here, I feel like we're being told you're mad and you're not moving forward. Two nights. The two nights, one is about you being mad, maybe having to spout out a little, and one is about you are not going to move forward, confirmed by the full card in reverse. So you're not moving forward, taking a leap, taking a risk, not doing it um, as a Aries lady. So we have Aries man who's upset, isn't giving up hope over here, um, is contemplating something different and new. We have Aries women over here who are really angry, also upset about something, not going to move forward, not going to take a risk. All right, I know it's hard when I, I'm trying to appease both my male audience and my female audience, so bear with me, guys. Um, all right, so for all of you, this story is exactly the same at this point. We have um, challenges of this fulfillment with the Ten of Pentacles. You might not be feeling very abundant right now, and that is a challenge for you with the Ten of Pentacles here as a challenge. And with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and with the Wheel of Fortune, if you look at her, she's pregnant. So like the Empress, this is also a card of abundance, but again, it's a challenge. So you're having a lot of abundance challenge here. Chal uh, abundance doesn't always have to be about money either, guys. Um, abundance is in a lot of different forms. And for me, abundance is what's important to you. What is your abundance? Where does it lie? We all have a different opinion of what's most important to us, where we get most of our fulfillment. All right, so let's look at the um, the Ten of Pentacles here. Why is it a challenge for the Aries reading? Why is Ten of Pentacles a challenge? Okay, we got three again. Seems like we keep getting three cards here. We've got, all right, all right. So we have the Six of Wands. All right, so there's this victory you're trying to get to here. You're trying to be successful and move forward, which is really what closing the cycle and beginning one is all about, right? Ending something and beginning something. You're trying. That's what your goal is here. Um, but you're feeling, you were feeling really left out in the cold, feeling that lack mentality. This is a real feeling of loss of isolation, of really being left out of something. It's in reverse, so you're coming out of it. A lot of this could have been about your your mental state. There's gonna be good news. We have the um, Page of Wands here. I'm feeling like right now, you're in the midst of changing all this. This is almost like, this might have been a challenge for you to complete a cycle and start a new one. But I feel like as we come into this reading, you're already releasing this lack mentality. And that's really what you're, I feel like that was your challenge, to be able to release it and move forward. And then the page of um, wands can also be that for, it's, it's um, action, right? So you've been kind of in a stuck state and now you're just beginning to want to bust out and move forward. Know you're, there's something you're not happy with, and same thing for men, men and women, that you're not happy with, that you're not going to move forward on. You're planning something brand new, especially the men. And as we come into this, this is for all of you. You've all been unable to complete and begin a new cycle, but you're going to. I mean, there's victory and forward movement here. There's good news and new beginning here, and you're coming out of this state of um, feeling abandoned here. You're coming out of it. Now, You could. this could be about a cancer too, because I do have to mention, this is a cancer card. So either you're feeling this lack, you were feeling a lack in your relationship or some area that involved a cancer, or uh, you could have cancer somewhere in your chart. And also, um, I feel as though this is a cancer card because it has the cancers on the bottom. It also can be a Virgo card. Keep that in mind. But you have, um, just looking at this for one minute. Yeah, so, or this can be about a cancer in your life that's coming out of that feeling of, Rejection, feeling of loss, feeling, like I said, the old left out in the cold, as they say. It's a feeling of, you know, um, rejection, abandonment. 
someone's coming out of that, which is really going to be good news and mean forward movement. So if this isn't you, it's the person, it's somebody around you. And it ends up being a really good thing for you to get this news that this person's coming out of this. And it's going to allow for you to be able to um, complete and open a new cycle. So if it's about someone else, they are important to your journey. All right. So it could be you, like I said. So let's look at the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here, please, for the Aries reading? This is a pretty harsh Seven of Cups. It really makes you fear what you're up against. Why is the Seven of Cups here, please? I'm going to redo that because my phone was ringing and distracting me. Why is the Seven of Cups here, please, for the Aries reading? Why do we have the Seven of Cups here? Hold on one second, guys. I'm getting distracted and I hate that. Okay. All right. Seven of Cups. Why is it here for the Aries reading? Even though you turn off the ringer, you can still hear it. You know, you can hear the vibrating. All right. So... Wow. All right. So you're, you've put yourself into the hangman state, trying to look at things differently, trying to take in that spiritual knowledge, doing some healing here, right? So um, while you're in this healing state, you're beginning to see things clearly. You're beginning, even though it's not quite clear, I feel like you can see that things are not easy. All right. And the lack of clarity is hard as well. Until you finish this process you're in, yeah, everything won't be revealed. And sometimes everything's not revealed, okay? We never really know everything. But something that is keeping you from this um, closure, I feel, or this completion, in a sense, is the fact that you aren't finished what you're doing, which is your um, enlightenment, your time of going within your time of looking at the people places and things in your life looking at everything from a different perspective um and really getting some you know um insight okay you're still in it and you're still cloudy on where to go what to do but you know it's coming guys because clarity is right here with the ace of swords you know so it's just a little more work that needs to be done and you're going to be able to close this cycle out Let's look at the Four of Cups in reverse. Why is that here for the Aries reading? Why is the Four of Cups in reverse? Yeah, look at that. The world in reverse. So you're having a hard time closing the cycle, right? That's why you, your new beginning's on hold over here. You're, but it's coming, all right? But your, your wheel is a challenge because you haven't completely closed out that old cycle. That's what I was saying to you. But you're working on it. You're doing your work. You're doing it, okay? See her doing her work there? You're doing it. It's just right now, it's on hold. Not on hold, you're just still in the middle of it. You're manifesting. You are busy manifesting at this night of, um, I'm sorry, uh, page of pentacles, why am I saying pentacles? Page of swords is a manifester. This page of swords is manifesting perfect home, perfect family, perfect wife, perfect husband, perfect life, right? That's what you're busy doing. While you're in this state, uh, you are working on manifesting what you want, working on being able to close out the old so that you could bring in the new, and the new will have with it the clarity that you're lacking here with whatever the old stuff is. Whatever this, I still don't know what the situation is for each of you yet. Okay, for some of you, it can be, you know, work. Some of you, it can be um, your love life. Some of you, it could be family or friendships. Okay, let's look at the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? For uh, the Aries. Oh, gosh, hold on, guys. I'm dropping them. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? For the Aries reading, Ace of Swords. Aries. No, way too many. Just one or two. Aries reading, please. There it is. The Magician. You're manifesting like crazy. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, guys. So you are busy, busy, busy manifesting. You're only allowing truth and clarity into your life. You've blocked off the old murky stuff. At least you're working on that. You're working on coming out of dark and murky and coming into the light of brightness clarity and truth. Let's look at the thir three of pentacles. 
Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here for the Aries reading? Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed? Wow, okay, we've got, <laughs> we've got the Two of Pentacles reversed and we have the Four of Cups reversed. So the Four of Cups is sometimes having regret about a missed opportunity, but with the Two of Pentacles reversed here, I feel like you've made a decision and you're, you're firm on it. Like, you know what, there's some regrets from the past, but I have firmly decided I'm not gonna work on building a foundation with whatever this was that was so murky from the past that, you know, whoever was treating you like this, you're just firm on your, your belief that, um, yeah, it's, it's disappointing. Four of Cups disappointing is what I'm feeling right now. But you know that building on this will not bring you abundance. There's no abundance to be had here. Like I said, abundance was, this abundance was a challenge to begin with. All right, let's look at the Nine of Pentacles reversed here. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here for the Aries reading? Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here for the Aries reading? No longer wanting to defend yourself on a situation that isn't abundant. Seven of Wands. Look at her. She's holding her own, but look at everything coming at her. This person, male or female, is just like, I am not going to do this anymore. This situation isn't even abundant. Why am I even fighting for it? You're done. The fight's done for you. And we can see that with the death card here. Why is the death card here, please? Death card for the Aries reading. Why is it here? Oops. Nope, nope, nope. I'm losing a whole pile, guys. Hold on. Death card. Why is it here, please? Death card. Why is it here for Aries? No, way too many. Just one or two. Oh, wow. Three of swords reversed. Thankfully reversed. So you're healing. You're healing from whatever this was that was done to you. And we don't have a whole lot about it. Most of this reading is about your journey and what you're doing. But the end of the heartache is here. So all the work you're doing is literally ending the old re residual heartache that you've been going through. So the truth is, it's not like any of this is going on right now. It's like this is showing your journey of, you're, I'm not very happy about this. Yep, I didn't get my hopes and dreams. Yep, there are regrets, but I still have something new to go for here. Whether you're male or female, I feel like you're going for something new. Nope, I'm not going to move forward with someone who is um, harsh with me, sharp with me. I'm not going to move forward with them. I refuse to take a leap of faith. I'm not happy about this. Not moving forward with them. I'm not going to build with them. I'm manifesting something amazing here, and I want to close out an old cycle, but I'm still kind of healing and still doing my work because I know what I was up against but I don't have all the answers and that's really bugging me. So I'm still in a healing phase here. I also want to be able to close out this cycle and start a brand new one. But I've been feeling this lack mentality. Um, and it might be with a cancer. It might be, you know, in a different area, obviously. But um, could be with a Virgo. Could be with a Capricorn, a Taurus. Could be anybody. Could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Could be anybody. So I'm just really getting over this lack. I'm getting over this heartache. But I am going to successfully move forward. No doubt about it because I want this newness. These pages are that newness coming in, right? Um, even though I'm healing, even though I'm getting over whatever this person did to me and hurt me, broke my heart, stabbed me in the chest, whatever it was, um, I do have sadness about this but i'm not going to build with them there's no abundance there i'm giving up on this that's your story right there in a nutshell 
I do believe um, this can be in any arena for any, for anybody because if somebody was tyrannical and said mean things, it really can be in any area. And yes, it would hurt your heart, whether it was your boss, whether it was your coworkers, whether, whether it was your best friend, your one of, somebody from your group, one of your family members, a cousin, a sister, whatever. You know, anything could work for this reading. You're coming out of the pain and you're going to let it go. You're going to end it. Done with that. I'm done with fighting. I'm done with the pain. I'm done with regretting. I'm still going to finish up my healing. And in, I don't know, two minutes, I'm going to close this cycle and I'm going to start a new one. It's going to come when it comes. As soon as you're done with this process, which, by the way, is really a great process because while you're in it, you're also manifesting really good in like crazy, okay? You're manifesting something really awesome in for yourself. So, guys, this is a really positive reading. It's just about the healing that you're doing and while you're doing it, all the work you're doing while you're doing it which is amazing, and the fact that Spirit wants you to know that um, you really are in the middle of creating a brand new um, cycle for yourself. You're really manifesting it yourself. So that's about to close up. Um, I feel like it's going to, the cycle's going to close hopefully by the end of November so you can go into the, the holidays with this brand new cycle and new beautiful energy. All right, so hopefully within the next couple of weeks, just really focus on yourself and your healing and positive manifestation, which you're already doing. Anyway, guys, beautiful reading, Aries. Let's get you um, some after tarot. All right, so spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please tell us what comes next in this situation for the Aries reading. What comes next? What can we expect to happen next for the Aries reading. Aries reading, what comes next? What comes next for Aries? Aries, what's next? Beautiful. There's that closure you needed. What else? Beautiful. Can I have one more for Aries? Just one more card. Aries. Well, look at you, Aries. Blam, that card we were waiting for, that fourth card, that's you. Aries ladies, looking good in the upright. These are all red in the upright. They're the after tarot. They are what they are. All right, you're letting go. You're letting go. You're doing what Spirit's asking of you. Because see how Spirit will step in and make you release. So whatever you've been hanging on to that's been unhealthy for you, whatever it is, a feeling, um the past, the pains of the past, you know, whatever it is, a person, um, you're being urged to let go of it. Because see, if you don't, what's going to happen here is spirit's going to step in. And that always makes it heavier and harder. So it's better if you do it while you're doing this work you're doing. Also work on releasing and forgiving for yourself. You don't have to walk up to them and say, hey, I forgive you. You don't have to do that. This is all about you releasing and forgiving and agreeing to put it behind you and agreeing to let the new in forward movement only. Um, not dwelling or th every time you try to start to think about something from the past or whatever, you got to change your mindset fast. It's got to be a conscious thing that you do. All right, because you're starting that new beginning that you've been manifesting. Remember I talked about you're bringing in this new beginning, this truth and clarity and honesty and a beautiful new beginning? Here it is. You're about to start it because you're closing that old cycle. The world is happening. You're closing it out and you're starting the new and this is amazing and what a story. All for you, Aries. All right, guys, and you know the Queen of Wands is unisex for me. 
she's so versatile that she can be male or female for me. This is my only queen or king that I feel that way about. Emperor too. Emperor is different. That's a, that can be an energy for me. But right now, this can be male or female. Aries, you are definitely doing exactly what your reading said was your challenge. Closing out a cycle and bringing in a new one. Great job, guys. I'm so happy for you all. I think, you know, you're really, really going to be happy when this happens. Uh, just work on that manifestation positively. Block out that old manifestation that's negative, okay? So no thinking about the past. Change your mindset. Watch something funny. Go on YouTube. Watch a funny show. Get every time that old creepy stuff starts creeping in, stop it. Just make it stop. <laughs> I know that's easier said than done, but it is possible. Okay, um, angels, what is the advice for Aries for November 2019? What should be their focus? Harmony, the blank one. Oh, so I get to tell you. Oh, transformation. Yes, thank you, God, right? Thank you. Thank you for the transformation. Finally happening for you, Aries. And you're going to do it in harmony. You're just going to go with the flow, right? You're going to do it with some kind of grace and just go with it. And yep, I let go of all, I, I let go of the outcome. I let go of all control because that's just ego talking. I give it up to my spiritual team and they're going to take me to the place I need to be. Work in harmony with your spiritual team. They're helping you go into an awesome transformation that's going to spit you out the other side with a brand new beginning. I want to grab you one more because I'm going to give you my opinion of what you guys need to do. But of course, as usual, you don't have to take my opinion. So I'm going to grab you another one. Honesty. Wow. Now when honesty comes out, a lot of times for me, it's being honest with yourself. What are you manifesting? Truth, clarity, honesty. Beautiful. All right, guys, just be honest with yourself. Accept the transformation. Do it harmoniously with your, your guides. They're trying to help you here. They're trying to help you close out something old, bring in something beautiful and new. And you guys got the blank one, so I get to give you homework, which you can definitely ignore if you'd like. My... <laughs> My opinion after looking at your reading, um, really for me is, um, I feel as though for you guys, it's just, I feel like you're about to complete this cycle no matter what, but for you guys, I feel it's though you might be suffering from a little bit of um, clingy energy, clinging on to what doesn't serve you. So uh, my advice to you is going to be uh, let go of what doesn't serve you and be honest with yourself because you know what you know what I'm talking about, okay? So take that advice or leave it, but great reading, Aries. Please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and exchange energy with you. Helps bring you into my readings and keep you involved in the readings. Um, I'd also love hearing your stories. I'd love to hear that some one of you, any of you are doing exactly what this reading says and completely healing and getting on with an amazing new beginning and especially in November I'd love to hear you guys reach out and go I did it I did it I got through that cycle and now I've graduated this is graduation from a huge cycle where you've been through highs and lows and ups and downs and hard times and good times and horrendous times and they can be months long they can be years long they can be years and years and years long but the cycle is ending for you and when we get to the end of a cycle it's because we graduated from it we did what we were asked to do all right and you get your new beginning anyway guys i hope and pray that this resonates with you uh if you like this reading please hit the like button for me it really helps the channel and i really appreciate it okay guys have a good one bye